Sun. So many firsts for the 111th IHSAA state finals. For starters, how about the first state championship in almost two years? The Leo Lions are going for the program's first ever state championship, but we start in 2A, where Blackhawk Christian is going for their first since bumping up from 1A. It's the last time Blackhawk Christian fans will see Caleb first in a Braves jersey. The senior is off to Purdue. What better way to cap off a high school career than a state trophy? But Park Heritage standing in the way. First quarter, Zane Berg drilling one from downtown for the first three points of the ball game. The senior finishes with 14, shooting 50% from past the yard, Braves up six. A big storyline early, Caleb first on the bench with two early fouls. He ended the first half with only two points, but Blackhawk finding other ways to score. On the corner, junior Jacob Boyer drills a huge three. Then, as clock is running out before halftime, Marcus Davidson drilling the triple, and they go into the break ahead by eight. Caleb first coming out of halftime, for blood. He gets the putback jam in the third quarter. Only his second bucket of the game at this point, but the Braves up nine and the Wolves howling for a timeout. Now, still in the third, senior Connor Davis gets the layup to fall, and suddenly Blackhawk lead is just four points. First, still feeling it in the fourth, though. Opening up the quarter, he hits the three ball. 18 of his 20 points coming in the second half alone. Then, Gage Sefton drops the layup late in the fourth, and this ball game is over. And for the second time in three years, and the first time in 2A, the Blackhawk Christian Braves are IHSAA boys basketball state champions. It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, there's no one else that you know, I think I speak for all of us that we would rather do it with. Um, you know, we've we've been working at it for a long time, and so just to just to have that opportunity it was it was a lot of fun, and we're, we're very grateful. Yeah, it's big, but of course that's not the end goal. We're here to honor Christ, so that's first and foremost. But of course, it's always good to win, better than to lose. So I'm just glad that I could go out with my coach and my favorite teammate over here with a victory. Obviously, super proud of these guys, and uh, you know, we just talked in there. What these guys have accomplished uh, in between the lines on a basketball court has been remarkable when you think about uh, the wins, you know, the postseason success. Um, but, you know, what I am most proud of is who they are as young men. These guys are exemplary young men. And, uh, you know, I look at I've got a 10 year old son who's a manager on this team. And I love the fact that he looks up to these guys and he gets to be around these guys on a daily basis because these guys are having a massive impact, um, obviously, in our school and beyond.